Good day, fellow practitioners, engineers, electricians, and future engineers. Welcome to Codesultant channel. Today our discussion is in section 2.20.2. .2. Branch circuit load calculations. Let's have an example of dwelling units to understand our topic easily. The single-story family dwelling has a plot area of 120 square meters. In addition to typical household appliances, it has a 6 kilowatts range, a 4 kilowatts clothes dryer, a 4.5 kilowatts water heater, a 1.5 horsepower booster pump, a 3 horsepower air conditioning unit, and 3 1 horsepower room air conditioning unit. To calculate the branch circuit load is in Article 2.20.2, .2, Section 2.20.2.1 states that branch circuit loads shall be calculated as shown in 2.20.2.3. .2 2.20.2.5, and 2.20.2.7. These are lighting load for specified occupancies, other loads, for all occupancies, and loads for additions to existing installations. What are the rules for lighting load for specified occupancies? In section 2.20.2.3, states that, a unit load of not less than that specified in table 2.20.2.3 for occupancies specified shall constitute the minimum lighting load. The table shows general lighting loads by occupancy type, the loads show the minimum conditions, and the power factor consideration is 100%. The lighting load for dwelling units is 24 volt amperes per square meter. This includes receptacle outlets covered in subsection 2.20.2.5J. To determine the area, it will be from the outside dimension of the building. For dwelling units, Areas such as open porches, garages, or unused or unfinished spaces not adaptable for future use shall not be included in determining the total area. Our sample project has an area of 120 square meters. Since the garage and open porch are to be excluded in determining the area, the total area for the lighting load will be 73 square meters. Multiply by 24, the total volt amperes is 1752, and the current is 7.62 amperes. Therefore, at least one 15 amperes rated branch circuit is required. The layout of the lighting and switches comply with the requirements of sections 2.10.3.21 and 2.10.1.11c1 through 4. These are lighting outlets required, and dwelling unit, branch circuit requirements. Although, only one 15 amperes rated branch circuit is enough. It is permissible to have two or more 15 amperes rated or 20 amperes rated branch circuits for this layout. How about for the other loads? Section 2.20.2.5 Other loads, all occupancies. In all occupancies, the minimum load for each outlet for general use receptacles and outlets not used for general illumination shall not be less than that calculated in 2.20.2.5a through L, the loads shown being based on nominal branch circuit voltages. For the receptacle outlets layout and the other loads, as shown in the illustration, receptacle outlets are in place. The placement of outlets and the branch circuit requirements are based on sections 2.10.3.3a1, 2.10.1.8, 4.6.1.9, and 2.10.1.11c1 through 4. These are required outlets for dwelling units, GFCI for personnel protection, receptacles in wet and damp locations, and branch circuit requirements for dwelling units. The layout shows that the small appliances in the kitchen, dining area, and pantry have two 20 ampere branch circuits. Garage circuits have only one 20 ampere branch circuit, including all readily accessible outdoor receptacle outlets. Another 20 ampere branch circuit for two bathrooms. Also, for the laundry circuit. Other areas not mentioned, such as bedrooms, hallways, and living room, are provided with two 20 ampere small appliance branch circuits. All fasten-in-place appliances shall have a dedicated branch circuit, as shown in the layout. The table shows the summary of branch circuits of the sample project. Branch circuit loads, sizes of conductors, and overcurrent protective devices are to be determined. For circuit number 1, since the general lighting has 1752 volt ampere, let's determine the size of the conductors and overcurrent device. How to determine branch circuit conductors, overcurrent protective devices, and equipment grounding conductors. Section 2.20.2.2.1 For the conductors not more than 600 volts, general. Branch circuit conductors shall have an ampacity not less than the maximum load to be served. 
Conductors shall be sized to carry not less than the larger of 2.10.2.2A1A or B. Subsection 2.20.2.2A1A states that, where a branch circuit supplies continuous loads or any combination of continuous and non-continuous loads, the minimum branch circuit conductor size shall have an allowable ampacity not less than the non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load. For example, a branch circuit has a continuous load of 8 amperes and a non-continuous load of 10 amperes. What will be the minimum size of the conductor? The branch circuit conductor must be sized to have an ampacity not less than 10 amperes plus 8 amperes multiplied by 1.25. Therefore, the conductor must be sized to have an ampacity of not less than 20 amperes. According to Table 3.10.2.6, B, 16, the conductor of 3.5 square m is suitable if the method of installation and application is as per table. Subsection 2.20.2.2A1B is about applying any adjustment or correction factors. For our example project, all conductors installation and application is not more than three current carrying conductors in a conduit, and the ambient temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. Hence, adjustment factor and correction is 100%. For the overcurrent protective devices of the branch circuits, the code rules are in section 2.10.2.3. Branch circuit conductors and equipment shall be protected by overcurrent protective devices that have a rating or setting that complies with 2.10.2.3A through D. Subsection 2.10.2.3A states that Continuous and non-continuous loads Where a branch circuit supplies continuous loads or any combination of continuous and non-continuous loads, the rating of the overcurrent device shall not be less than the non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load. Determine the required rating of the branch circuit overcurrent protective devices in the previous example. The branch circuit overcurrent devices shall not be less than 10 amperes plus 8 amperes multiplied by 1.25. Therefore, the overcurrent protective device shall not be less than 20 amperes. The standard ampere ratings of fuses and inverse time circuit breakers shall be in Table 2.40.1.6a. For this example, the branch circuit overcurrent protective device shall be a circuit breaker. Therefore, use a 20 ampere rated inverse time circuit breaker. To determine the size of the equipment grounding conductor shall be in Section 2.50.6.13. In Paragraph A, Copper, aluminum, or copper-clad aluminum equipment grounding conductors of the wire type shall not be smaller than shown in Table 2.50.6.13. Table 2.50.6.13 shows the rating of the overcurrent protective device and the corresponding size of the equipment grounding conductor. For this project, we will use copper conductor as ground. Therefore, for the previous example, the size of the equipment grounding conductor shall be 3.5 square millimeter. The equipment grounding conductor shall not be larger than the circuit conductor. To continue with the sample project, what will be the size of the conductors for general lighting with 1752 volt amperes? Since lighting is considered a continuous load, it shall be at least 125% of the full load current. Therefore, the conductor's minimum size shall not be lower than 9.52 amperes. According to Table 3.10.2.6, B, 16, a conductor of 2 square millimeters is suitable. Use a 15 amperes circuit breaker for the overcurrent protective device, and for the equipment grounding conductor, use 2 square millimeters. For circuits 2 and 3, small appliance branch circuits, as stated in section 2.203.13, these circuits shall be calculated at 1500 volt amperes, and the rating of branch circuits shall be 20 ampere. Therefore for circuits 2 and 3, Use 3.5 square millimeters for the circuit conductor, and the for the equipment grounding conductor, use 3.5 square millimeters. For the laundry circuit, as stated in section 2.203.13b, this circuit shall be calculated at 1500 volt amperes, and the branch circuit shall be provided by a 20 ampere rated, as specified in subsection 2.10.1.11c2. While for bathroom and garage circuits, a 20 ampere branch circuit shall be provided. The sizes of circuit conductors and equipment grounding conductors of these circuits shall be the same procedure as small appliance branch circuits. How about the volt ampere load of garage and bathroom circuits? 
Receptacle outlets shall be calculated at least 180 VA per multiple receptacles on one yoke, as specified in subsection 2.20.2.5i. What does it mean to one yoke? The illustration shows typical receptacle outlets. The first outlet has one receptacle, and the other has two receptacles. How about the yoke? The yoke of a receptacle is the frame, the metal portion of the receptacle that is used to mount a device to the outlet box. Therefore, both receptacle outlets have one yoke, and these receptacle outlets shall be calculated at least 180 volt amperes. How about the triplex receptacle outlets and the quadruplex receptacle outlets? In the same subsection, a single piece of equipment consisting of multiple receptacles comprised of four or more receptacles shall be calculated at least 90 volt amperes per receptacle. Therefore, quadruplex receptacle outlets shall be 360 volt amperes, while the triplex is only 180 volt amperes. However, this rating does not apply to receptacle outlets that are covered in subsection 2.20.2.5J, 2.20.2.5K, 2.10.1.11C1, and 2.10.1.11C2. Subsection 2.10.1.11C1 are for the receptacle outlets in dwelling units kitchen, pantry, dining, and similar areas, and subsection 2.10.1.11C2 is for receptacle outlets in dwelling units laundry area. What are those outlets in subsections 2.20.2.5J and K? Subsection 2.20.2.5J is for receptacle outlets specified in J1, J2, and J3 of dwelling units, guest rooms, or guest suites of hotels and motels. These outlets are already included in the general lighting load calculation in section 2.20.2.3. Load calculations for these outlets are not required. Outlets in paragraph J1 are for all general use receptacle outlets of 20 ampere rating or less, including receptacles connected to the circuits in 2.10.1.11C3. General use receptacle outlets of 15 and 20 ampere ratings installed in living rooms, bedrooms, library, den, sunroom, parlor, recreation room, and similar areas of dwelling units under 2.10.3.3a are included in the general lighting load calculations. Further, bathroom outlets in dwelling units are also included in general lighting load calculations. In our sample project, these are in circuits 6, 7, and 8. For receptacle outlets in J2 or for outlets specified in 2.10.3.3e and G, these outlets are for the dwelling unit outdoors, basement, accessory building, and garage. In our sample project, this is in circuit 5, while J3 is for the lighting outlets specified in 2.10.3.21a and B, these are for the dwelling unit lighting outlets in the habitable room, kitchen, bathroom, hallway, garage, stairs, attic, and basements used for storage and equipment spaces. In our sample project, this is in circuit 1. Therefore, branch circuit load calculations for the general areas, bathroom, garage, basements, accessory building, and outdoors of dwelling units is already included in 1,752 volt amperes. Subsections 2.20.2.5k are for banks and office buildings. Receptacle outlets for these occupancies can be calculated by at least 180 volt amperes as specified in subsection 2.20.2.5i or by 11 volt amperes per square meter. While in subsections 2.20.2.5, L, other outlets, other outlets not covered in 2.20.2.5a through k shall be calculated based on 180 volt amperes per outlet. Now we understand that our electrical code has separate requirements in calculating the load for receptacle outlets, depending on the application. For other occupancies except dwelling units, how many receptacle outlets are permitted in 15 ampere circuits? The first step is determining whether the receptacle outlets are continuous or non-continuous loads. Remember the rules of section 2.10.2.3? For a branch circuit that supplies continuous loads or any combination of continuous and non-continuous loads, the rating of the overcurrent device shall not be less than the non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load. Since receptacle outlets are not considered continuous loads, therefore a 15 ampere circuit can be utilized at 100% capacity. Branch circuit load is equal to voltage times amperes. 230 volts multiplied by 15 amperes is equal to 3450 volt amperes. Since each receptacle is to be calculated at least 180 volts amperes, 
3450 divided by 180 is equal to 19.17 units. Therefore, the maximum number of receptacle outlets for 15 ampere circuits is 19. How about for 20 ampere circuits? 230 volts multiplied by 20 amperes is equal to 4600 volt amperes. Divided by 180 volt amperes. Therefore, the maximum number of receptacle outlets for 20 ampere circuits is 25. However, this procedure does not apply to dwelling units. The code does not specify the limit to the number of outlets you can install on a single circuit. To summarize, the 180 volt amperes rating for each receptacle outlet does not apply to all types of occupancies. Dwelling units receptacle outlets shall not be calculated at 180 volt amperes. The volt amperes of receptacle outlets in general areas in dwelling units such as living rooms, bedrooms, libraries, dens, sunrooms, parlors, recreation rooms, and similar areas, including laundry areas, bathrooms, outdoors, garages, basements, and accessory buildings are included in general lighting loads specified in section 2.20.2.3. Receptacle outlets serving the kitchen, dining room, pantry, breakfast room, and similar areas are to be connected to one or more 20 ampere rated small appliance branch circuits are to be calculated at 1500 volt amperes. However, the code does not specify the limit to the number of outlets you can install on a single circuit. Going back to the summary of circuits, the volt amperes loads for the garage and outdoor circuits and bathroom circuits are included in the general lighting loads, and also for the receptacle outlets in general areas, as shown in circuits 7 and 8. In determining the size of the circuit conductor, it is permitted to use a 15 amperes or a 20 amperes circuit. For this project, we will use 20 ampere circuits. Hence, use 3.5 square millimeters for circuit conductors and equipment grounding conductors. What are the rules for sizing the electric clothes dryer and electric range branch circuits?